Well, I was pushing that payload down the deadlock doors when a little something caught my eye. It was a cute little pharaoh, mercy of course, trying to fly in the sky so high. I took my aim, and their hail stayed the same, but there was one thing I didn't try. All I had to do was press Q, and then they die. When you hear that big high noon, better run for the hills, run for the hills. Who knew that's all you had to do to make them run for the hills, run for the hills. All you have to do is press Q, and then a big high noon will get you play the game. Jesse McCree grew up on a farm in Texas. Good old Texas. When he was a young ruffian, he met Ash, and the two of them committed a bunch of crimes together. And together, they formed the Deadlock Gang. However, his time as an outlaw came to an abrupt end when Overwatch busted him in a sting operation. In jail, he was visited by Gabriel Reyes, the head of Blackwatch. Reyes saw potential in McCree and gave him a choice. Rot in jail for the rest of his life or join Blackwatch. That was kind of an easy choice for McCree. In Blackwatch, McCree felt that he could truly make amends for his sins, but he did feel that something wasn't right in Blackwatch, especially when they recruited Moira. In Rialto, McCree witnessed Reyes kill Antonio Bartolotti, which pissed off McCree since it was not the plan and put them all in grave danger. Blackwatch, which was made to be covert, was now revealed to the public by the press. McCree said, That's where it all started to go wrong. Years later, McCree was assigned to the Echo Project, where he was to protect its head researcher, Dr. Mina Liao, becoming quite close to her. But unfortunately, he failed at his one job. You had one job, McCree, and the Echo Project was terminated, leaving Echo in a quarantine pod. After Overwatch disbanded, McCree became a vigilante gun for hire with a robot arm. However, he would only take jobs that he thought were just, like stopping train robbers and whatnot. When Winston recalled Overwatch, McCree instead chose to awaken Echo, thwarting Ash and Bob's plan in the process. So if you hate Echo, you should blame McCree, because she'd still be asleep if it wasn't for him. But now that you know who McCree is, let's learn how to play him, shall we? McCree's gun is the Peacekeeper. No, not that, it's just a revolver. God, imagine if McCree had that broken gun, my god. It's a hit scan weapon that does 35 damage per shot, 70 on headshots, but after 20 meters, it has fall off damage. Simply click the enemy's heads, then boom, they're McDead. Flankers can't handle the Peacekeeper's flick. This Doomfist is Doom Pissed. So it is McCree's job to kill flankers, but he can also be the flanker. I care about the game. <laughs> if there's no shield protecting the enemy, it's a point and click adventure. Tanks may think they can 1v1 you, but boy are they wrong. Their heads are even easier to hit. If the high ground is uncontested, take it as McCree. There's nothing more threatening than a McCree on the high ground. Talk about Doomfist. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, hold up! I, that map is fun. When McCree is so good, if, you, if no one's stopping McCree on high ground, how do you how do you lose? The Peacekeeper has a trick up its sleeve. Fan the hammer. It has nothing to do with hammers, by the way, just so you know. You can unload whatever is left in the chamber for a quick, inaccurate burst of damage, which makes McCree incredible at breaking shields, and in combination with his next ability, makes him one of the most annoying characters to play against. Every 10 seconds, McCree has a stun grenade that does 25 damage, and the stun lasts less than a second, but it's annoying. In combination with Fan the Hammer, it's an easy way to score kills on helpless enemies. Supports, tanks, even other McCrees. Wrecking Ball? More like Dead King Ball. Got him. Yeah. Even if you miss your stun, the fear it puts on enemies is enough to kill them. Genjis can deflect your stun, but not if you point it at the ground. Dude, Genji behind us. Got him! This makes McCree even deadlier when he McFlanks. 
The stun has other uses too, like stunning Ryan out of his shield, which is super useful for comboing it with your own Ryan's Earth Shatter. Oh, big combo! Holy crap! I, I stunned I stunned the the Reinhardt and then he shattered him. That was huge. Nice one. I mean, that's, a, that's, a, that's an obvious combo, but we didn't coordinate, so I'm actually really impressed. It can also stun enemy abilities, like Mercy out of a res. Oh. Oh, I'm trying to res, bro? Do you know who I am? I'm McCrizzle, boy! And it can stun enemies out of their ultimate. Here's just a few that you can easily do it to. Sigma. Farah. May. Ryan. Hog. McCree. Reaper. Sombra. Lucio. Moira. There are other characters you can do this to, but these are just the most easy and practical to do it to. Fun tip, you can also stop Diva's bomb's momentum, which can save your team sometimes. Bet you didn't know that, huh? Big brain. McCree's last ability is combat roll. You can roll out of the way to dodge enemy bullets, but its most useful thing about it is that it reloads your gun. Sometimes you can roll into a safe area, but you're gonna probably use it to reload your gun 90% of the time. Just watch where you roll. Oh no! I just rolled off the map! Oh my god, I'm so bad! That's the back row, I know and love. <laughs> ya noob? McCree's ultimate is Deadeye. McCree slowly locks onto targets, and when a red skull appears, he can kill every one of those skulls in sight. The damage slowly escalates until you fire, or until the Deadeye runs out. You'll be standing still, moving 70% slower, so you're an easy target to kill or even sleep. If shields are in the way, you'll probably get no value out of the ultimate except maybe destroying the shield. But if there isn't anything blocking your sight, Mick kill them. Mick kill them all! Even if a sliver of the enemy is not behind a shield, they're as good as dead. Be patient, McCree's ult lasts up to 6.2 seconds, and some enemies forget that. Now the most effective way to get kills with this ultimate by yourself is with cheeky flanks. That is, if nobody sees you of course. Just be patient and eventually the McFlank works. They're never gonna expect this. Oh! <laughs> that actually worked. <laughs> Big flank. A couple McCree skins have different voice lines instead of High Noon, like High Moon for the Van Helsing one, or even this. It's high time. But I like the classic. It's high oh! Oh! <laughs> My name is Macro. Why did I choose that name in the first place? Is it because I have a degree in macroeconomics? Is it because my real name is Marcos? Is it because I'm overcompensating? No, none of that. I'm Macro because it sounds like McCree, kind of. So that means I'm the best McCree in the world. So you're gonna wanna listen to these pro tips. Number one, you're the hit scan to end all hit scans. Soldier, psh, get that old man out of here. Ash, more like trash. So it's your duty to kill the enemy Pharah and now the enemy Echoes. Whether she's in the sky or transformed into you, you gotta kill her. Simplest way to do that, kill their pocket mercy first. The doy. Number two, while there are some cool ult combos with McCree like McBlizzard or McGrav, the best combo has to be McMel. Sigma ult plus high noon. The enemies become easy targets for McCrizzle to fizzle. First try! First try was was so good. Number three. High noon may not always get kills since little babies will hide, but sometimes that's okay. You can use this ultimate to zone the enemies from touching the point, which will secure you and your team the victory. It won't be play the game. But it will be in your heart, and that's what counts. Number four, High Noon reloads your ammo. So in the middle of a fight, popping High Noon can be clutch, even if it's just for a split second to get that instant reload. Now all you have to do is learn how to aim, and you'll be Mick ready to Mick climb to top 500. And McCree's banned this week. Well, sh. McCree is a great hero. I think during Macro stream, <coughs> he said it best. McCree is legit one of the most fun characters ever made. He's just he. I, I miss when Overwatch was this simple. A gun, two abilities, that's it. That's literally McCree. But then now it's like Echo. A gun, it's four abilities. 
And also she can fly, so she has like two passives. McCree is a well-designed hero. Sure, he has an annoying CC ability with his stun, but that's it, stun and a gun. If you got a brain, you can play this man. So for noobs, I would say McCree is McEasy to play. But what do you guys think? Is he easy? Hard? Do you think he needs buffs? Do you think he needs nerfs? Let me know in the comments down below. Okay guys, I have to go practice rolling so I don't fall off again. I'll catch you later, ya you know? When you hear that big high noon, better run for the hills, run for the hills. Who knew that's all you had to do to make them run for the hills?